I'm gonna teach you how to test all types of ACMD diodes using the multimeter. But first, let's answer some questions. What is ACMD diode? What are the types of ACMD diodes? What are the samples of ACMD diodes? So let's see the definition of diode. A diode is an electronic component that allows current to pass in one direction but not in the other. In other words, an ideal diode will have zero resistance in one direction and infinite resistance in the reverse direction. A surface mount diode SMD has two metallic leads which allow it to be soldered directly on the printed circuit board PCB. So as you can see here, this is the symbol of the diode. As you can see, here we have the anode or the plus terminal and here we have the cathode. Or or the negative terminal. So basically the diode allows the current to pass just in one direction from anode to cathode and blocks the current from the other direction as you can see. Okay? So in the real diode you will find as you can see a band or a line here. This band means the cathode or the negative terminal. Okay? So types of SMD diodes. So we're gonna see many types of SMD diode. We're gonna see the standard diodes, switching diodes, rectifier diodes, zener diodes, short key diode, TVS diodes, and LED diodes or light emitting diode. So let's begin with the first diode, the standard or normal diodes. A standard diodes are used in low current applications. So as you can see here, the standard diodes look like this, as you can see with two terminals. Okay, this is their samples, as you can see, and normal samples with anode and cathode. Okay, so let's see the second type of diode. The switching diodes. Switching diode is a semiconductor device that is specially designed with a switching function. In other words, a switching diode is an electrical switch that has two states, on and off. So basically you can find the switching diodes like this with like the normal diode or you can find it with three pins. Okay. So let's see right now the rectifier diodes. So a rectifier diode is used for EC line rectification. It converts alternating current EC to direct current DC. The Zener diode. A Zener diodes are used to provide a stable reference voltage in electronic circuits. Okay, so basically this is the Zener diodes as you can see here. Okay, we'll find always this blue band. Okay, the blue band means a Zener diode. So for this, the Zener diode, as you can see, this is their symbols. As you can see, this is the symbol for the Zener diode. So let's see right now the Schottky diode. The Schottky diode is a semiconductor diode formed by the junction of a semiconductor with a metal. It has a low forward voltage drop and a very fast switching action. It can be used in switching and rectification applications the same as any other junction diode. Of course, there is many types of Schottky diode. As you can see, you can find just a normal diode with two terminals or three terminals, or you can find this kind of diode, as you can see. So for the symbol of Schottky diode, as you can see, this is their symbols, as you can see here. Okay? So the TVS diodes, a transient voltage separation TVS diode or thyristor is an electronic device that is used to protect 
electronic circuits from voltage spikes or unexpected voltage changes. A TV is diode may be unidirectional or bidirectional. As a unidirectional device, it operates as a rectifier that can handle very large peak currents. So basically, this is the symbol for the TV is diode or transient voltage separation. So these diodes are used to protect electron circuits from unexpected voltage changes. Okay, so basically you can find just a normal diode like this with two terminals or with three pins. Okay, so as you can see, this is a symbol, two diodes. Okay, or you can find just, as you can see, one diode like this. Okay, this is a unidirectional TVS and this is a bidirectional TVS. So let's say right now the LED or light emitting diode. So light emitting diode LED is a semiconductor device that emits light when an electrical current flows through it. It is widely used in electrical and electronic equipment. Like all diodes, light emitting diode allows the current to flow in the forward direction and blocks it in the reverse direction. So as you can see, basically this is the LED diode, as you can see, okay? And this is its symbol, as you can see, with two arrow. So right now I'm going to show you how to test the diodes, all kind of diodes, okay? First, let's see this slide, as you can see here. So basically the diode is normally a polarized device. It's not like a resistor. The diode exactly like the electrolytic capacitor, okay? You should respect the polarity. So here we have the anode or plus terminal. Here we have the cathode or the negative terminals. So to test the diode, you should first select, as you can see, the buzzer or the continuity option here, okay? And then if you put the red probe of the multimeter in the anode or the plus side and the black probe in the cathode, you should get a reading. You should get a reading. And when you reverse the probes, I mean, you, you put the black probe in the anode and the red probe in the cathode, you should not get any reading. If you get these two states, means the diode is good. But if you get the reading in both directions, means the diode is bad. Or if you get a continuity or a buzzer, means the diode is shorted. So let's check the diodes. And as you can see here, we have some diodes that we're gonna check using the multimeter. So here, as you can see, this white mark means the cathode, okay? As you can see, or the negative terminal. So we're gonna put the black probe in the negative terminal and the red probe in the anode or positive terminal we should get a reading, as you can see in the multimeter. We get a reading. Good. So let's switch the probes. We should not get any reading in the multimeter, as you can see, no reading. Means the diode is good. So let's check the second diode with the same working principle, always the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode. We have a reading in the multimeter means the diode is good. This diode, as you can see, we have this blue band means a zener diode. This is a zener glass diode, as you can see. Okay. Always the diode with blue band, as you can see, means a zener diode. Okay. But for this kind of diode with, with black bands, it can be zener diode or just normal diode. So let's check these diodes using the same working principle. Always, we should locate the negative terminal and the positive terminal. Here we get a reading. Okay. Let's switch the, the probes. No reading, we get one well in the multimeter, means no reading, means the diode is good. So let's check this diode also, so always the black probe 
in the negative terminal we get a reading let's switch the probes no reading means the diode is good here as you can see we have a big diode here you can find this kind of diodes near to the power jack okay or near to the power jack connector with the same working principle always here the white mark means the negative terminal or the cathode so let's check this diode so we have reading here if we switch to probes we should not get any reading if you get a reading in both sides means the diode is bad or if you get a continuity so here the diode is good so let's check here also as you can see this is the power jack here we have the back of the power jack here we have two diodes basically these diodes are for protection so as you can see here this is the positive terminal we have plus and this is the negative terminal or cathode here we have the anode and here we have the cathode okay always you should locate first the anode and the cathode so as you can see we get a reading in the multimeter let's switch the probes so no reading means the diode is serviceable basically when a light emitting diode is eliminated while testing it means it is good okay so if the diode or the led is eliminated you can discard the multimeter okay so let's check this diode led2 so as you can see the diode is eliminated the first diode when we put the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode and we get the reading let's check the second diode because this diode contains two diodes inside it if we switch the probes as you can see we will not get any reading so let's check no light no reading okay no light no reading means the diode is good okay now as you can see this diode is for the computer motherboard we can check it using the same working principle so this is its terminals so let's check its terminals using the multimeter we get a reading here okay so if we switch the probes we should not get any reading as you can see in the multimeter it means the diode is good okay right now let's see this kind of diodes this is a THT diodes or a true hole technology diodes okay as you can see this is holes over here that's why we call it THT diodes here in the back of the motherboard as you can see we have the terminals all these components are a true hole components okay and here of course these diodes are surface mount components so here we have the cathode as you can see this band means the cathode so let's put the multimeter to the diode option or continuity option and then check these two diodes so we should get a reading so as you can see we get a reading when we put the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode if we switch the probes as you can see no reading in the multimeter means the diode is serviceable let's check the second one with the same working principle so here we have cathode so let's check we get a reading in the multimeter if we switch the probes we should not get any reading as you can see no reading means the diode is good as you can see here this is short key diodes it contains two diodes inside it okay as you can see the reference d okay all these are short key diodes we should find two readings okay two diodes this is the first reading as you can see and this is the second okay because it contains two diodes okay as you can see two diodes 
So let's check the second one, the same working principle. We should get two readings because it contains two diodes. We have the first reading, as you can see, and we have the second reading in the multimeter. You should just get one reading for the transistor between collector and emitter. Let's check. We have here a reading in this side between collector and emitter. And as you can see, between collector and the base, no reading. We have reading. And here we have no reading. Okay, because this is a transistor. This is not a short key diode. Even if the shape and the size is the same. Here, as you can see, when we switch the probes, we, we don't get any reading. Means the transistor is good. Okay, here also we have no reading. 